Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about WatchKit's equivalent to the UI alert view. And that is the um, alert view that is built into WatchKit. As you can see here, I have an example connect to a button. When we press our button, we can get an alert with a title and with buttons that we want. And cancelling and buttons with completion handlers. So, to set this up, we go to our app. As you can see, I have my example set up there. And I have a button attached to a IB action in here. The first thing I want to talk about is presenting the alert onto the screen. And then the second thing is how to create actions. So how do we present our, act, uh, our alert? That's pretty simple. Let's go. It is a function within WK interface controller. I'm not going to go and find it because it's, there's heaps of functions there. So of course, to get that interface controller, we go self dot. And as you can see, I already have it up here, but it is present controller with title. We have a whole heap of options. The first is the title. As you can probably guess, it's the title of the interface controller. So this is the title. Next is the message. This is the body of what you want to convey to the user. Okay, so there's our message. Um, next up, I go tab, enter, oops. I'm going to do that dot. We have three styles for our alert controller. The first one, uh, I think that one I just showed you was an action sheet. Um, we also have an alert style and a side by side button style. The alert is meant to just be an alert telling information to the user. Uh, the side by side buttons is used best to show maybe two buttons to the user. The buttons will be side by side. And the action sheet shows many buttons to the user. And it's like an action sheet in iOS where they're all on top of each other. So I'm just going to go alert. And then I'm going to go enter. Now we need to talk about our WK actions. Uh, as you can see, we have an array of WK actions. You can put, uh, I think, quite a few in here. But you should probably keep it to a minimum. Just what you need to really present with this action. And if we open up our bracket we can see we can create our WK action, um, but it's probably better off to make it in a constant outside. So let's go let first action, oops, equals WK action, alert action, open the bracket, go enter. Uh, this is what the button says uh, in the title. Next up is the style. So we have three styles. If we pick the, the cancel style, we can only have one of these. And this button will actually, if we go back in here, take up this space up here. So it will dismiss the, the um, alert. And yeah, so whatever you write in the title will come up up there and it will call the handler when that button is pressed. So you might want to use that. Um, just for the moment, I'm going to use default. The other one is destructive, and I think this is just bolded. Actually, we'll just see. And it's the equivalent of the destructive in iOS. So finally, we're going to make a completion handler. And you can just put some code in here. I'm just going to put in a print. And I'm just going to write uh, destructive. I'm going to make one more of this, one more of these, without the destructive just so you can see the difference between the two of them. Okay, so we have our two actions and we can just put them in the array. So first action, second action. Okay, so we have our controller set up, we have our actions. Now we can uh, run our app and we can see how that all shows up. See, we're using a alert here. Our app is opening up, we can press our button and there we have our uh, there we have our title, we have our body, we have our normal button, and we have our destructive button. So to show you the difference between the three types of action, uh, let's go with the uh, action sheet. Run our app again. Back to the simulator. Press our button. And there, as you can see, we have this cancel up the top. Uh, it's kind of awkward how it doesn't scroll like that. 
We scroll down our two buttons are on top of each other. And the final one is the side-by-side -side buttons. I'll just show you that final one. Now, as you can see, our two buttons are side-by-side -side and this doesn't scroll. So, you know, you need to be considerate about the size of your text. Uh, the final thing I need to say is, of course, our completion handlers. I press one of these buttons. I press the other button. And I'll press the first button again for good measure. As you can see, that print in each of these was run. First, our default structure. Um, default again. And if you want to actually do something there, that's where you would do it um, on your completion handler. Um, that is the alert view for WatchKit. And I hope you can see how that is could be kind of useful.